that's the basics. As you can see, the nested is a very normal way of doing things, written all in line, which makes them almost impossible to follow after you nest more than two. <laughs> that's just why I spaced it out, because this is insane. I can't even fit on the screen with this big font. So that's one way. Nests are really nice in that, at least for synchronous, you know exactly what's happening. And if you want to, you can refactor this to an imperative function by adding brackets here, squiggly braces, and debugging and step step debugging, but I just, this is really hard to follow. It's harder to scale. It's harder to comment out twice, right? To see, you know, an intermediary step, for example. Promises are great in that they have the built-in error handling. They work with both sync and asynchronous code. And the fact that it's just, you can comment it out. You can use an async tap function to debug in the middle. So promises are really, really great, but promises are complicated and they're very hard for some people to learn. And so a lot of times they're not always the level of complexity you'd like to, to add if you're going to do function composing that way. Using the standard compose from Ramda or flow from Lodash, it's a really nice way to just have reusable functions and recreate them. The downside with this is that it's only synchronous and the error handling of what happens if something in here either throws or the data isn't quite what you were expecting between these things and you're not using any type of types or TypeScript or flow or something like that. That's all on you. And so that's a bit of a challenge for there. Pipeline operator is awesome. I think the couple challenges, obviously the obvious right now is they haven't figured out how they're gonna handle the actual symbol for whatever this thing is, right? If you're doing an arrow function. And then more importantly is they're still trying to figure out how async await works. There's three different proposals. They have the basics, which I'm showing you just to play with. It's a straw man to play with. Do you like the F sharp way or do you like the smarter way? Just like the synchronous, the air handling is all on you. But if they figure out the async, it'll work with both sync and async. So that's actually kind of cool. If it does work with async, then you may be able to leverage the promise air handling in there. So that remains to be seen. But overall, I think this is the most readable, the most flexible, and works really, really well when you're using partial applications, which I'll show in a future blog post and video. These are the four ways of doing function composition. If you've got any other questions, let me know on any social media. My name is Jesse Warden, and I hope this was super helpful.